can Arduinos or Raspberry Pi um, systems be used to create simple data acquisition units capable of reading strain gauge outputs? Yep, absolutely. Um, you've really got two approach instruments, and one is buy something dedicated, and the other is build your own. Now, the only downside of building your own is many people get it wrong at the front end, and that is the Wheatstone Bridge. If you get the Wheatstone Bridge right, i.e. using foil resistors for very good thermal stability, and then you use a stable amplifier so you get the voltage output from the Wheatstone Bridge to a reasonable level, then of course what you plug in then is merely down to your ingenuity to um, convert the voltage into the engineering units that you're interested in. And yes, people are using Arduinos and Raspberries and many other custom devices. But if, you, if you're using a strain gauge every day in a laboratory, buy an instrument will save you a lot of heartache and believe it or not, a lot of money as well. <laughs> in, in, the, in the long run, yes, I, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think a lot of that, a lot of that technology is, is very is very available now. Um, but then, when you get down to again down to real high sensitivity and, and high high quality measurements, there there are all sorts of other things that both Anton's uh, Anton and his colleagues do, and, and my colleagues do when you start looking at the data processing yeah. and so on. There's, there's more in it than you realise. Put it that way. <laughs> but if you get it on um, the front end, forget the rest. Okay. Mm.